hello everybody welcome to my channel in this video I am going to make an emergency bug fixing because our validation video I always work with the category model so we didn't try to add action method on product so the last action we did adding um, let me open adding nullable feature to suppress to system error messages cause a problem okay let's see the problem first then I will show you how we going to amend by the way we have a problem here middleware okay let's delete this unnecessary middleware okay let's run the application these days I'm very busy and I'm gonna start a new job and I'm moving my house so I'm a bit tired and busy so it can be uh, this kind of mistakes can be so really sorry about that okay let's continue with the product um, if I try to edit this data which is I added a couple of minutes ago okay okay if I try to edit it we get a problem all right item not found this is a filter error as you can see I'm gonna fix that one as well and there is another one let's get back create new product if I try to add something new on product section we get zero quantity and zero price all right we have two problem edit and delete this is our filter parameter check problem and the second one is quantity and price is not matching okay the problem is we did this nullable action on our product create a remodel but I guess I must be confused because it is an unnecessary action let's delete these two and our project will be okay right now let's open our project again all right let's try to add new product now all right create new product let's say new test through three quantity this is the quantity this is the price let's create here we go it's working perfect let's try to fix this edit section the problem coming from our controllers while I was adding my filters to product controller I add my filter with category source entity so it must be product but we need to it is really good error by the way it's really good bug we are getting a ridiculous error message now I'm gonna fix my filter to receive meaningful error messages let's get back our filter after null check I'm going to get a source entity check here okay if we get any different type source entity located in our filter we're going to get a meaningful message okay let's get uh, back our controller first so we have a product we need to use product here okay so this source entity name and our controller name base is equal okay so all we need to do get the controller name and get the entity name with using reflection then I'm going to use a string manipulation method to remove controller all we need to do is using if block and matching these two string name okay let's get back our check filter parameter check filter let's get controller name all right context dot controller get type name replace so we have here 
are product controller or category controller as a result. So I'm going to replace it the, the old string is controller instead of controller I want nothing so I'm gonna just put empty all right let's get our source entity name source entity name all right let's say type of um, sorry type of the entity name all right let's say if controller name is not equal to source entity name draw new blind side exception which is going to be source entity is wrong please check your filters parameters all right now this is a meaningful error message okay let's try to run our application and let's see the result i'm gonna put a breakpoint here let's run the application our product controller still has wrong filter parameters okay let's try to click edit or delete let's click the edit here we go we are in our filter let's have a look our controller name is product let's have a look our entity name is category now we're going to get the exception here we go entity is wrong source entity is wrong please check your filter parameters this is our error message perfect now we have our meaningful error messages on our filter all right let's save everything perfect all right i'm going to finish this lesson here actually this is not a lesson this is a emergency bug fixing video i am really apologize for um errors in the project i will be more careful for future projects take care of yourself see you on next lesson bye bye guys